Easy as GDB. The flag has got to be checked somewhere. File brute. All right, and then the hints are something about GDB Python. I can guess wrong flags faster than ever before. Okay, so I've loaded this thing into Ghidra. Done a little bit of reverse engineering already. So I found the main program by sort of looking through the functions. They were all fun underscore whatever until I found the one that had this input the flag. Because if you run it, you'll see that input the flag checking solution incorrect. So what it seems to do is it gets something from the keyboard, calls the string length. It does some mangling of the input. I didn't really try to reverse engineer that. Then more mangling of the input. And then it's going to call this, which I called checking the answer. Because this seems to have the checking solution in this loop. So local 18, it adds one to local 18 over and over again. And then if it doesn't match, it comes down here. So here we are at this point, EBP plus 18, or actually minus 18, is going to be however many characters it got correct. All right, so if we do gdb.brute, then what we can do is we can set a breakpoint. Well, first we'll start it. And I'm going to figure out where I am. So it looks like 56555A10 is where I am somewhere in Maine. So in Maine, five six five 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 eight ten. So it's around here. That's the return address from get us. So if I just take the last three digits, I put in this five six five five five. That should be what I want. So in check answer, at around five six five 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 nine a seven. Seven. That should be where I know how many characters I've gotten right. So if I say A, and then I'll say EBP minus 18, which is 14 hex, was zero. If I run it again, I put in P for Pico, right, then I have one. And I can say like Pico CTF at seven. All right, so that it's going to count up for me how many characters I've got right. Now I need to script this. So I mean, I, I don't have to script it, but it's going to get pretty tedious pretty soon. So I've scripted this up, and there's a GDB part of the Pwn Tools library. I had difficulty working with it. You have to have like Tmux. And so I'm just going to run GDB as a process using Pwn tools. So I load GDB up, I load the file, I wait till it says done. I'm going to say start, wait till I get that GEF prompt because I have that enhanced debugger. I set the breakpoint, I read to the next prompt. My alphabet is going to be uppercase letters, lowercase letters, digits squiggles and underscores. I'm going to start with Pico CTF. No need to brute force that. Well, I don't have a curly brace. I'll loop through the alphabet. I'll run. I'll try the flag plus whatever thing for C. I'll read. When I hit my breakpoint, I'm going to print out what that value is. And then I'm going to read until I get a line where it's got that value, which I can split. So if we look, basically I'm splitting on this line here. So I read this, receive line is going to get the rest of the line, which basically gets me here. I split, that'll give me the 0x blah, 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 up to 7. And I'm going to print out my count, compare that to the length of the flag. If I've gotten bigger, right, if I now have matched one more character correctly, I add it to the flag, I print the flag, I break out of this for loop, and I come back, and I'm going to start over with the alphabet again. 
So we can watch this thing go. You see it's trying Pico CTF. It tries all the uppercase, lowercase digits. It then gets the squiggle right. Got the I fairly quickly, underscore. It's going to work its way through the flag, brute forcing one character at a time until eventually it's gotten the entire flag. So again, what I'm doing is I'm using GDB. I go to a breakpoint where I figure out how many characters of the flag I have correct. I'm brute forcing over uppercase letters, lowercase letters, digits, underscores, and curly braces. And so far, it looks like we've got the sort of the clever part of the flag. I something all day. And now it's just going to get the like random stuff that it puts on my instance. And then pretty soon I should have a full flag. And there we go, PicoCTF. And we'll throw that in here.